Hello everybody, my name is Alan, I'm from Cyberlab and today will be another video about TrueNAS score. In this video we're gonna explain a little bit more about Snapshot, what you can do with Snapshot, if it's good for your application or not, and uh, what means with Snapshot. Let's get a really quick resume before we go in the video ahead. Snapshot is late, it's the name say snapshot for your media or all your data. It means that they will take a picture for your data in that exactly state and that in the future if you delete something or you corrupt something or anything happen with this data, you can go there and recover it. Remember, snapshot is not a backup, it's only a cop in your system. Why is not backup? Because in the case that all your system break, suppose that that's your rate break, all the hard drives burn or anything, you lose that data. Backup, it's to guarantee that if everything happened in your server, you still have your data externally. But a snapshot is not a bad option because if you want to recover something, it's really quick. Let's give an example. Imagine that you have a hack attack in your company and that uh, you want to get uh, up running really fast. You can go in one of your snapshot and recover everything, the stage that was before. Of course, you're gonna need to clean the computers, you have other things, but your data will be safe in the same image or same information that was saved before. This system is really good, but of course have some compromise. Imagine that uh, you delete a lot of files. That file is not properly deleting your hard drive until the snapshot disappear. This file, it's keep there exactly for guarantee that uh, you can recover it. So you're gonna go for the way that you're gonna run out of space if you delete a lot of files or if your system is really small. But if you don't have this problem, this snapshot will be excellent for option for you. And we're gonna explain a little bit more in this video. So if you like this idea and want to learn a little bit more about it, we're gonna show you this video, but first of all, don't forget to leave your like, subscribe for the channel, and let's understand a little bit more about it. Before we start to explain more about Snapshot and what we can do about it, let's understand a little bit more about our system. First thing, we are using the TrueNAS scale revision 22.02.4 where I have 16 gigabytes of RAM memory, only my service is already using 2.6 and my ZFA cache is 0.6. I don't have any IPP installed or I have anything installed yet. Other thing, I have a four cores and I have a network connection. Otherwise, I will not have access for my system. Here in my storage, last video, I show how you can configure the different uh, permissions and different storage. So let's try to understand how we can create snapshot, what we can do and what's about it. First thing, let's try to access this network. So first thing, let's try to understand how it's working the snapshot. Let's open my system. I will use the HR user. And here in HR user, I have access for my data. I have access for my HR and I have access for financial because we set up that HR will have access for everything. If I had to use another user, you will not have access for some specific folders. So let's get the folder date. Let's get all these folders deleted and create a new one called pictures. And that's let's copy some information inside these pictures. Let's copy some pictures inside this. What I'm doing now, I copy my pictures and I paste here. So it will take some seconds and after they use 346 megabytes of space. If I come here my true NAS, I have a 400. So if I go in and out, they already increase the 300 and something megabytes of data. In my data set data, I already copy this information. So let's create a initially a manual snapshot. So I come here and put create a manual snapshot. They will ask exactly the date or they will give some template name. We can leave this name or we can reconfigure it the way that we want. So in this way, it's fine. I will put create a snapshot. If I come here in snapshots and uh, snapshots, I can see my data here. And then I can come here in my settings and I can put show. So in this way, I have all the information. I know that this specific snapshot, they use 346 as a reference. So either that I delete the information, they still use in this reference here. So why it's interesting snapshot? I come here and by any accident, I come and delete my files and permanently delete. So I say, oh my gosh, all my data for my pictures has been deleted. But look me that I had done a snapshot. So I can come here, properties, properties, previous revision, and here is my snapshot. 
I have two ways. I can recover, restore, or I can open it. If I open it, I have all my data here where I can access and check all the way that I want. But uh, if I want to recover, I can come here and put recover. They will ask, you are sure that you want to do it? Yes. And that all the data has been previously backup or restored it. So I have my data here. Other thing that's interesting that you have other options as well. Let's delete these pictures again, second time. Come here in this arm and I can have a delete, clone or rollback. In my system, I can roll back all the information. So I can put rollback and I can create child part, confirm and rollback. It means that if I come here in my data, refresh this page, I have my data here. Or the other option, let's delete it again. Other option, I can clone a data set. So they will create a clone data set, the name that I want. And if I come here in my share folders, I can edit this clone data set and put save. Remember, when you create this clone data set in storage permissions, they will have exactly the same permissions that we defined before. So this one and this one will be basically the same, but it's a clone of this one based on the data set information to have. What it means, if I come back in my data, return, I will have this data where it's a clone. So they don't, uh, they exist in your system, but they don't exist in your system, let's say. Everything have a both sides. This data, this snapshot is really good because you can basically have this information anytime that you want. And if you come here and delete this data set, but have a problem with this one. If I look here, they use zero space, but they still use 346. And if I copy more information, they will keep using this one, but they don't appear this data. Because if I come here in properties, basically I have zero bytes in this file location, but they're using this information. This one, because this snapshot, they still using 346 megabytes. So if I come here and delete this, this snapshot, now I will have uh, this data that is appearing in my system. This one, because this snapshot, they will keep my information safe in a separate place. So if you delete a lot of times information or you have a lot of uh, turnover data, this one will become a problem for you because this data will be present in your system, but uh, you cannot see it physically and you cannot delete it. This reason that manual data set is not the best option. You need to put automatic one and that after a period of time, they will be automatically deleted. Otherwise, you're gonna create a lot of manual data sets and you'll forget about it and will use your space. In some point in time, you're gonna see that your server is not big enough, but you didn't use all the data. What's the other option? We can come here in data protection and put periodic snapshot. So here in uh, periodic snapshots, we can come add and we can find some information. First thing, we need to define the data set. You can do different data set or all the data sets. What I suggest you to do different ones because in this way you don't need to recover or don't need to look for all, any specific date. You can look specific for your data set that you want and you can set up different dates. So data, I want to have only one week of uh, backup or of a snapshot. I don't want to exclude any file, but if I want to exclude some specific location, suppose the trash or suppose that some place they only dump some pictures there and that after a week they will delete and if I lose this data, it's not important. So in this way, I can put some exclude information. The way that they will save, automatically is totally fine and now it's the schedule. Remember, if you put every hour, it means that every hour is someone is deleting, adds, modifying information, they will use more space. But if you put daily, it means that over the day, they will keep save your data. So daily, it's quite fine for most of the applications, unless that is really important you to have. But uh, we're gonna configure this one in the next data set. So first one, data, I put that daily and put save. Now you can configure a second folder, but in this case, financial. Financial is really important. I want that I keep two weeks this data set and I want that they do hourly. So they will start 00 until 29 and each hour they will do another snapshot. This one is important in my case for financial because uh, if I someone mess up anything, they will have an uh, impact for company money. So it's really important that they keep and keep at least for two weeks. Then after two weeks or four weeks, let's say one month, after one month, we'll start next month 
everything will be sorted and that we can uh, start the next month. So in this way, you always have, uh, let's say, one month buffer of data that you can keep. This will compromise in some side, but in the same time, they will be good for guarantee that your data. So this one's periodic snapshots, those snapshots will be present here when they start to be automatically. So those has been great. And each hour or each day from those, you can see what snapshot. Here, I have a lot of snapshot for the application that create automatically. So all the time that you do some application, they will create a different snapshots or different information. So in this way, you always can add as many snapshots that you want and you can control your data. We'll have a compromise, so you need to balance it. You cannot create a huge amount of snapshot because they will use too much of your capacity and you should not create a really low amount of snapshot or don't create snapshot because snapshot, it's a really quick turn out, turnaround for any problem that you have. So if you delete any folder or any data, it's easy to recover. If you have a hack attack, it's really easy to recover. If for anything happen in your system, you can recover in a few seconds. Compare for a backup, that will take a little bit longer, either to do the backup, either to recover data. So guys, I hope that you like this video. This video was quite simple, but it's useful for you to understand how works Snapshot, what you can do with this tool, and how useful is it. So if you like this video and think that it was interesting, don't forget to leave your like, consider to subscribe for the channel, and see you next time. Bye.